these are kind of objects that Thanks to those in it. Thanks to those figures. We really want our visitors to, to feel what these spaces would have felt like for Princess Victoria because, of course, um, the environment that you grow up in goes on to influence you so much. And uh, because our sort of unique um, selling point, I suppose, is that we are the, we are the original spaces in where these things and these stories happened. Of course, I think in later life, Victorian champions this sort of personal mythology of a very unhappy life here at Kensington. And that's often um, the story that's recounted. What we can tell from the evidence is that um, certainly her early years, the, the first decade of her life was very happy. Um, she was very indulged. She never wanted for material possessions. She was surrounded by pets and music. She had her two older siblings um, and other childhood friends. Extensive research was done into what these spaces would have looked like. We were fortunate to have three different inventories that spanned Victoria's childhood. And so we know what was in the room. And to an extent, we know colours. We know whether or not there were curtains or carpets, if there was wallpaper or paint. Um, and, and from that, then, we were able to look at the bills, um, the household bills, which tell us who was, who was supplying those wallpapers and those fabrics. And so we then went to the archives um, of those suppliers, and we've been able to pick out patterns which were exactly right for the dates. We celebrate the love between Queen Victoria and Albert. She was totally in love and devoted to him 
Um, but we also show how important Albert was to her public image and how much control she had, he had over her public image. It was his project which would show the benefits of technology and art and science for bringing about peace, peace in the world. And on display we have this beautiful dress which should be bright pink, but again showing off great technology. It was an experimental pink dye, so it faded. It's also in an unusual pattern of sort of interlinking rings. And I think this is really sort of nodding to steel and technology. And this was an outfit which was far more fashionable than, than usual, but celebrated sort of the British fashion industry and was chosen entirely for Victoria by Albert.